Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I partnered up with Nemo Labs to open and try out their NDX 5040 CNC machine. This thing is an absolute monster beast desktop CNC machine. As you saw at the beginning, this thing weighs 110 pounds coming off of the truck. It was absolutely crazy getting this thing just into my workshop. It weighs a ton. It's really special because it comes with linear tube rails. It comes with a custom 710 watt motor that runs up to 30,000 RPMs. Right out of the box, when you put this thing together, this thing is going to be upgraded already. You don't have to buy anything else. You don't have to buy an additional router or anything like that. Now you can purchase a router for this. It does take a 65 millimeter router. So if you have, for instance, a DeWalt, a Bauer, or anything along that lines, I think the Makita as well, they will fit directly into this, but it already comes with that ready to go. And did I mention it has the linear tube rails? Yeah. And it's ball screw driven? Yeah. All right, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing open, unboxed, and put together. It does say on their site that it takes about 20 minutes to put together. So hopefully, uh, we'll get this thing put together and on its first test run, uh, maiden voyage here shortly. Here we go. Right, guys, now that we went ahead and got this thing unboxed and set up across the table, I'm going to move some pieces around to give me a little bit of working space, but I'm going to first review the instructions. And I will tell you this, just looking at what I've seen with the instructions so far, beautiful illustrated instructions should be very easy to put together. It is a step-by-step -step, and there's probably not a whole lot to do to get this thing going. I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. I highly recommend though, if you've never put one of these things together to make sure you review the instructions from uh, start to finish before you start your assembly. But being the fact that I've done these before, I think this is going to be pretty easy for me to uh, get one set up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start the assembly process and get it going. Here we go.
right guys, so I got the uh, Nemo Labs NBX 5040 put together. It was ridiculously easy. It came together very well without any problems. They give you a bunch of extra parts that you uh, can use, but honestly, I didn't have any issues putting this thing together. I will say that the instructions do tell you to not tighten any of the screws, so when you're doing the instructions, you're following it. There is a point on the instructions where it doesn't tell you to go back and to retighten everything, so just make sure that you do that. These are the little T-clamps that come with it, and these things are really awesome. Billet aluminum, kind of my favorite ones that uh, I've seen in any machine yet so far. These things are really awesome. They're spring-loaded, and they have this little pivot on them. Really, really nice. I'm not a big fan of those. I usually do the tape method. I'm definitely going to do a spoil board with this. I'm gonna leave the T-tracks available. I'm gonna leave those open. I'm gonna just do little strips going forward. Uh, that way I can use that T-track if I'm not doing any like complete 100% cut through. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up for the very first time and we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna connect it to my computer. We're gonna connect it to Easel Pro and see if it basically connects and then we're gonna try to move it and home it, see what happens. Let's get a bit in here, an end mill. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have our Z probe set correctly. So let's do it, here we go. All right guys, so if you check right here, uh, it automatically turned green, which means that it recognized the CNC machine. So the Nemo Labs 5040 has been recognized on Easel Pro. Let's just come over here and home the machine and see what happens. And uh, well, let's click home and then we'll go from there. Let me pan out a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and over here and hit home and see what happens to the machine. There it is. So what I'm gonna do is move this up just a little bit like that, and now I'm gonna drop down my spindle. All right. All right guys, now that I got everything set up where I want it to be, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up a file on Easel Pro, import an image, and we're gonna go ahead and do a test cut. So let's go ahead and get over here and see how this test cut does. Alright guys, that is it. That is the NBX 5040 by Nemo Labs. This thing is absolutely amazing. Honestly, it probably took me about 20 minutes to put together. Very simple build. The instructions right here that they come with are absolutely amazing. Even the back of the instructions give you detailed steps on how to use the offline controller. If you're not connected to a computer, you can just come over here, use your offline controller, there it is right here, and it has this nice little spot right here. You can hold it, which is really awesome. It is capable of taking on a laser as well, 
and a fourth axis so that if you want to use the uh, roller wheels that way you can um, engrave like a baseball bat or something round it has that available too back here that way you can hook up a fourth axis and have that as well. The linear rails and the ball screw driven motors are absolutely smooth as butter. So also the stepper motors that comes with the NEMA 23 stepper motors. I'm telling you this thing for the first go around gave me zero issues whatsoever. It is gonna be a major, major contender on the desktop CNC market. So I'm super excited to do some more work with it. Uh, in the future, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some videos on how I'm going to do a spoil board on this. If you're interested in that, uh, I'm gonna do a very easy spoil board and how I mark my spoil board without even doing any kind of files or anything like that. I'm gonna show you that in a future video. Also, let me forget to mention again that it comes with, comes with this 30,000 RPM motor. Also, you can program it so it has this right here if you wanna slow down your RPMs. Yeah, it's ridiculously easy. I really, really enjoy it. Even the clamps, and I'm not a fan of these style clamps for some reason, but they changed my mind. It's because of these clamps, the way that they made these clamps with that spring-loaded and billet aluminum, and it has this rocker design on it, changed me completely. So I'll probably be using these going forward when I'm not doing a full cut through, like cutting out an actual piece all the way through 100%. If I'm only doing like 75% or doing a design or something like that, I'll use these. Otherwise, I'll definitely use the tape method. All right, as far as the cutting dimensions, again, I think I mentioned that this is a 500 by 400 by 95 millimeters. You have a really good workspace. If you need something a little bit better, they do offer a 600 by 400 millimeters, which is like 23 inches by 16 inches, give or take. They do offer that as well, and we might be doing a video on that in the very near future. Thanks again, Nemo Labs, for sending me this. I'm super excited. We got a lot more videos coming up in the very near future using this machine, and it's gonna go right there in a permanent location. So stay tuned. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, get notified of all of my newest videos, and uh, yeah. Until that next video, make sure you do one thing. Stay awesome. We'll see you on the next one.